asking the advice from your embassy. So, so you go and talk to the embassy. You tell them now. But the Nigerians here, they want to come to the embassy. So, Puya, the Nigerian, the Nigerian embassy doesn't want us to meet them? Yes, that is So, the Nigerian right. embassy has denied us. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay. Your embassy. Okay. Your no, home no. embassy denied you. You call the embassy. You call the embassy. You call the embassy. embassy. Yeah, they don't. Yes. Yes. What's your name? What's your name? So you are telling us, you are, you are telling us that the Nigerian embassy have denied the citizens, right? Yes. They, no, we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. Both of us. He is telling us we are cadets. Sponsored by the Nigerian uh, uh, Nimasa, and now they are telling us that the Nigerian embassy has denied us in a foreign land. Nimasa is not replying us. We are the embassy. Now the security is stopping us. You can see the security guys are blocked out. You can see our colleagues. We are all here. They have stopped us from going to the embassy to complain our problems and our needs at the embassy. So this is good. Uh, we are here. We what do you want to do? Our embassy. We are here today for a simple demonstration. We went to limits. our own embassy and now our embassy have instructed the security to stop us here. That we, can, we are not allowed to go to our own embassy when we have an, a, a challenge. Eh? The, now the Philippine security is holding us to go to our own embassy, Nigerian embassy, because it is our embassy that are giving them the right. And I have instruction that we should not be allowed. How can I not be allowed to go to my embassy when I have a challenge? And I want to use this medium to pour out the challenge we are facing here. Ten years ago, we were sent to the Philippines to study marine engineering and marine transportation under a Nimasa NSDP scholarship. Ten years ago, and this is a scholarship that was supposed to last for four years. Three years in school, one year in the ship, then I come back to write my exam and finish it. But this has stayed long for ten good years. I have wasted my life, my 10, 10 years of my life, and many of my colleagues also in this same program. Now, finally, we are here for the last lap that we'll get our license and go back to Nigeria. But yet. All right, great people. All right. You are welcome once again on reality. You know, I always bring reality to our people. I hope every one of you understand this video that we just finished watching now. It happened in Philippines. Of course, I keep on telling my people that Nigeria is not for you. There is no how Nigeria will be for you. And there is something about our people. Some of our people don't even understand the mess that they are into. And I will keep on lamenting. You know, I always believe in reality. That is why I always try my best to make sure that I bring out the video to you all before I will speak on the video because I don't want you to begin to think something that is not in order. I want you to see and believe. You will see with your koro koro eyes and then you will begin to believe. Nigeria can never help you. I want you all to understand that Mazin Namdekano is in DSS dungeon today because of all the shenanigans that we are just seeing every single day. We are seeing it every single day. And it will, it will keep on repeating itself. They kidnap our leader in Kenya. They rendition him to that contraption called the Minibuzo. Because of all these things we are seeing. Now, I hope you begin to understand. And I keep on telling my people, only what can solve that problem in that contraption, only what can solve the problem is to seize Nigeria to exist. And Biafra is the solution. Biafra is the solution. And there is no how I have, I have, I have been convinced, I have been convinced that Biafra is the solution. You see, if you want to have a good road, good water, good hospital, infrastructures, factory and companies where you can work. It's only Biafra can give that to you. If you want to live as a human, where humanity takes place, it's only when Biafra comes. But if our people don't even understand all this preaching, 
of us every single day lamenting, telling our people to wake up and buckle their belt and embark on this journey that we are. Some people think that we are joking. Now, let me introduce myself before I will go in details. Great people of Biafra are great people. Freedom fighters, lovers of freedom are great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Nandi Okukano, where we always set the record straight. My name's all Mazu Kenna known as the Biafran Child in the General. Now you have listened to it. Now have you believed that we are not one people? First thing that I want you people to see in this video that we just finished watching, if you don't get it, and I would like you to go back again and rewatch it, you will see that all those people we see on the video, definitely there's no Fulani there. There is no Fulani there. And you know that the man said by himself that his Nigerian embassy are using Philippine security to stop them to get to the embassy to complain. They got a scholarship to Philippine to study marine engineer and marine transportation. This course supposed to be only four years but these people spent 10 years in a course that is supposed to you know practice only one for four years but they spend it there for 10 years and if you look at all these people there is no fulani there and they will keep on denying you because you are not part of them see where they send these people they send them to philippines the Fulani send their own people to Sudan, Somalia, where they have terrorist group, where they will learn the tactics of taking over. Where they will have these tactics of jihadism coming with ethnic cleansing. Because Fulani are coming to take over your land. That's not always about it. Now, they send you for your study in Philippines and you study marine engineer and marine transportation. And you are expecting Fulani to allow you to come back and begin to kill their misguided brother. Is it what you think? See, we have to understand the mess that we are into. And I have told my people on this Biafran restoration project, I have chosen my path. We have crossed the Rubicon. We are not going to return again. Biafran is the solution. Go back and look the pictures of these people. You cannot identify any Fulani there. Probably they are from the south. And now they have learned a lot. How to tackle insecurity. But they won't allow them to come back. They want to, you, want to, you want to destroy Fulani. You want to bring these people back. So that they will come and destroy Fulani that are coming with conquest. And you think that those people in power in that contraption that Fulani is controlling we allow these people to come back for over 10 years. The study that's supposed to last only four years. They spend it 10 years. Fulani will go there after six months. They will release them. Now after they have given them the key point. How to kidnap and destroy. They will release them and bring them back. But these people, they won't bring them. And the Nigeria by themselves are those that are using Philippine security to stop them. To stop them not to get there. Not to give their complaint. They have wrote their last exam. Let them go back there and go and fight insecurity. Fulani won't allow you. Fulani won't allow you. You want to come and kill their misguided brother? You want to come and kill terrorists? You want to dismantle terrorists, is it what you're thinking? And you think that Fulani will allow you to do so? Is it what you think? That is why I keep on telling my people, buckle your belt and embark on this journey. It does not matter. Freedom is not easy. 
It's not going to be easy for us. But we must do everything in our disposal to make sure that Biafra comes so that humanity can take place. I keep on saying this, and there's no how we can dispute it. Fulani can never allow you. I want you to understand that. And I want you always to keep that in your mind, that we are not one people. Go and check those that travel to Sudan, Somalia, you know, Nigel, to practice jihadism. All of them, they, were, they are already back in that contraption, causing chaos, destruction, and uh, killing and maiming of our people every single day. Committing hideous crime every single day. They are back. All of them, they are back. Is back. Is back. They train, they come down. They, they bring them back. But these people that went to Philippines to study, to understand how the taxes, how they can stop this Fulani, and you are expecting the government of Fulani, Fulani alone, that have come to rule, you want to come now and begin to challenge them, and you think that they will allow you. That is what I'm bringing to you all. I hope you have listened to it, and I hope you saw it by yourself. And I know this video will make sense to you. And then you begin to understand that everything that we said or I have been saying is a gospel. I still remain your royal servant. Good day. I welcome.